Welcome to Cooking Like Crazy! My name is Marcelo. I'm a mommy. And today we're going to learn how to make a tuna kebab. So, mommy, you know where is the best place to buy tuna? You actually do know. It's here in Skiji. So, let's go, let's go shopping, ma. To buy Yada. a fish. To buy a fish. Wow, this place is so big, no end, huh, mommy? <laughs> well, uh, just be close to me for me not to be lost, huh, mommy? Yes. Ah, this is more heavy? Ah, how much gram is this? This is how much gram is We brought one kilo of nice fresh tuna. <laughs> yeah. We go make the tuna kebab now. So we just came back from Skiji, the fish market, and uh, now we're going to continue making our tuna kebab. So let's start a little bit with the ingredients. So we have here one kilo of a fresh, juicy, beautiful, amazing red tuna. We're using one medium sized white onion. For the herbs, we will use 15 grams of fresh mint, 35 grams of fresh Italian parsley, and 20 grams of fresh coriander. To increase the flavor, we're going to use fresh uh, rosemarine. A uh, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Twenty-five grams of pine nuts. Eight grams of uh, sea salt. Uh, 12 grams of cumin powder. And 1 gram of mixed grounded pepper. We're going to open the fire on a medium size. We will use a Teflon pan. We will add the olive oil. And we will put our onion. When our onion will change the color to transparent, we will add the pineapple. Now that our onion got transparent, we will add our pineapple. When our pine is starting to get a light golden color, we will close the fire. Now that everything is mixed nicely and ready, we will close the fire. Now we will wait 
for the onions to get cold. Then we will add to our tuna mince kebab. Tamanegi ga sameta ra sakihodo minchi shita maguro ni kuaemasu. So now we will start to mince our tuna. We have three sizes. For this tuna, we will use the biggest one. Now, after we're waiting about an hour for our onion to get cold, we will start mixing everything together. Next, we will put the mint. And then we will put the fresh parsley. Also fresh coriander. Now we will mix it all the herbs together with the meat. Now we will add the spices. We put in grounded pepper. Sea salt. And the cumin. We will mix it everything nicely. Amazing thing. You really can eat it like that. It's just amazing. Just beautiful. Now we will cover our tuna kebab with a wrap and we will leave it in the refrigerator for at least one hour. After we wait in several hours, we will take our tuna kebab out of the refrigerator. We will make 250 grams of kebab. And to increase in the flavors, we will put a rosemarine leaf inside the kebab. So let's start and do the thing. We will start making our kebabs on 250 grams. We put the rosemary leaves in the middle. And then we start to organize our kebab. So we will roll it a little bit just to give him a nice round shape. Mami, what do you think about our kebab tuna? Very original. And now we can start open our grill and we can put it in the fire. So Okay, we're going to open the fire in a medium size. Now we're going to take our grill 
and we're going to put it on the fire. And we're going to wait until it's going to be warm. So we're going to start with some decoration. So we're going to take a gar half garlic, going to put a little bit olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to put in our grill. そして初めにデコレーションのガーリックを焼きます。表面にエクストラバージンオリオブオイルを塗ってから焼きます。Now we're going to take our kebab and we're going to brush it gently with a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil. 焼く前にエクストラバージンオリオブオイルをケバブの表面にはけで塗ります。Now we're going to take our kebab それでは焼きます。ゆっくりグリルの上に置いてください。We're as you can see, we grill it from all sizes. そして、すべての表面に焼き色をつけてください。Smell good? No, of course, mommy, smells good. This is a million dollar tuna kebab. <laughs> mm, good. Just came from the fish market. Then we brush a little bit of olive oil. Make sure we don't dry it. As you can see, our tuna kebab is actually ready. Now we're going to put in our serve juice. As you can see, we actually decorated the dish with the with some of the items that actually we did put into the kebab. I'm going to push the rosemary from inside the kebab. If you can see how beautiful it is, still fresh inside. It gave a a lot of flavors. All medium. Look how beautiful he gets sliced. Okay, mommy, let's start eat this. それでは試食に入ります。Okay, I'm going to give you this beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah, look, look how beautiful the colors here. Are amazing, amazing. I'm going to take also from me one piece. <laughs> you don't have to. But uh, if you custom to eat the uh, fish with a little bit lemon juice, so you're welcome to put. Let's try it, mommy. Hi, sorry, that's how it is. Nothing like a good fresh tuna from the fish market. <laughs> this was our tuna kebab recipe. これが, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking Like Crazy. Please check for more recipes in our YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye bye. This is, this is the new technology. This is the car that's soon going to come overseas. We...
Winge FM using this car. 